Hey YouTube, this is Ben Gessel. I'm making another video here tonight. Um, so, this is just a comparison of, we'll just say, in general, older movies, or whatever, however you want to term that. This is, this is a generalized comment, but older movies versus newer movies. <laughs> so you, you, you make the judgment call where this division is for you. Um, for me, this division is somewhere in the early 2000s where, yeah. And then, of course, when it comes to Europe, Europe, they still do stuff like this more. So Europe is still in the clear. It's still, that's ah, Scientology word, sorry. <laughs> Europe is still doing pretty good um, when it comes to this sort of thing. So they they, they still put a lot of this stuff in their more recent movies. So all you Netflix watchers eat up that European stuff because it's some of the best stuff on Netflix in my opinion. Um, sheesh, I don't know. So let's dive right into this stuff here. Uh, so I didn't make this, you know, opposite, but you can kind of anyway figure out how this works yourself. Old movies, they have a lot of heart. Old movies have a lot of emotion and quite a lot of different sides to it. Um, by the way, they have great stories. Great stories. That's another thing, too. You see a lot of courage. That's really shown in a lot of older movies. They're refined. There's a lot of refinement. Culture. Atmosphere. Doesn't feel rushed. A lot of subtle emotions. So, they don't... Older movies don't insult your intelligence. They don't insult your maturity level. Uh, they, um, they're they kind of a feast for adults and more uh, mature teens, that sort of thing. And for other kids, I think it depends, but just if you're more observant that way. So, a philosophical. They're very, very, often very philosophical. Uh, they draw you in. And more especially, my opinion, post-black and white era, That the only reason that, for me, it's hard to watch black and white movies, it's not... It's only because it's just black and white. It's just in the... You know, it's maybe... Um, when I was younger, I was... I lacked a lot of the patience to watch that stuff, but... You know, you just wish it was in color, and you get a certain age. Um, so, but aside, you know, I mean, like, look, like the 60s and 70s, 80s, they, they draw you in, especially 60s and 70s. And they can draw you in in earlier decades as well, 40s, 50s, whatever, 30. You just have to put up with the black and white. Anyway, <laughs> outstanding acting, uh, majority of the time. You know, really good, really good acting. Great film scores, it's an obvious one. A lot of variety. In what you can watch from earlier times, it's they're relaxing the vast majority of the time. Um, they're, you know, and they're respectful of traditional values, and they're really imaginative. I mean, some of them are outstanding that way. Remember, Alice in Wonderland, the Disney version, came out in the fifties, I think. It's one of the most imaginative movies I've ever seen in some respects, even though it's intended for kids and it's. It is kind of designed for a more juvenile crowd. Uh, there are those things that stick with us, like the Cheshire Cat. And, I mean, the the animation, though, is just outstanding, of course. Now let's look at new movies contrast. And remember, in my opinion, when it comes to European movies, they tend to be more in this group. They're still good. Now you get some... Get some you don't have as many poor movies. You get some weird ones, especially... We won't get into this too much here, but... Europe has a different kind of standard morally, but we, yeah, we don't get into that right now. But, but Europe still leans more this way, which is good in their movies. New movies are rushed. All right, blame whoever you want to on this. You can talk about this ad nauseum. There's all kinds of reasons why they're rushed. It's not necessarily the actors or actresses' fault. It's not always the director's fault. It's ultimately the suits. Exacts. It's just the way, yeah. It's just 
They're fake. They're trendy. They're loud. Too much special effects. Cheap. Not refined. Terrible acting. With some exceptions, of course. You still have good actors out there and actresses. But when you see a movie made in the last decade, there's a good chance that it's going to have some bad, bad acting in there. And I mean, sometimes it's atrocious. And I'm talking about the people. The people are fine. People are fine. That's a different thing. Just their acting ability, right? Just how well they can act. Oh, by the way, the story, storyline, the plot for a lot of these new movies suck. Suck, suck, suck. Not even worth watching. Film scores vary in quality. There's fewer themes, though. Fewer themes that you can sing and hum after the movie. It just, they just vary. And some of that's because of this first thing. Poor composers have to <laughs> zip it out really stinking quick. It's so quick that it's just like, oh, let's just do this. Let's throw it all together. Boom. You know, it's ridiculous. Emoji emotions. I'm happy. I'm sad. I'm angry. I'm scared. It's such a joke. I mean, like, we understand that there's kind of the whole, let's make something for the kiddies approach to a lot of these movies, but it's it's an insult to even kids sometimes. Even more, more sensitive, brighter kids are going to Im- immediately sense they immediately sense the fakeness of a lot of these emoji, emoji type emotions. I'm supposed to feel happy in this scene. And this is also acting ability. I'm going to put on a happy face. Uh, maybe I should attack actor. Maybe that's a little bit warranted. It's not warranted. I'm sorry. I do apologize. There's a lot of nice people out there that are trying to do their best in these newer movies. But let's be honest. There's... there's <laughs> this is, well, let's just talk about animated movies for a second. I'm going to start picking on actors and actresses. They're trying to do their best a lot of times. Maybe they just shouldn't be in acting with them. Um, th- there's a lot of um, juvenile movies being made that uh, for kids, sorry for kids, that are in- also kind of a, they're insulting kids, the, the, the intelligence of kids, um, thinking they're all babies or something. I don't know. It's just oh boy, it, it, like if you watch Nostalgia Critic, uh, yeah, Nostalgia Critic, is that right? Yeah. He used to be, he used to have a different name, but YouTube messed up his channel, so I think it's Nostalgia Critic. It's Doug Walker, basically. If you watch his stuff, he goes into so much more detail about all of his stuff. Well, about specific movies, but I would recommend watching his stuff if, if you want to see more what I'm talking about. He doesn't make this distinction so much, but I'm sure he knows exactly what I'm talking about. If you were to see this video, you know precisely what I was talking about. This is, this is the Nostalgia Critic. Nostalgia Critic. Sorry, guys. So, um... These modern movies, these new movies, push they push you away. They don't draw you in like the old stuff. Because with, with old stuff, when it's like, okay. You immediately get the feeling of, oh, you're you're part of we're, you know, you're part of this world. Um you're stepping into this world and everybody's, you know, this is for you, and you are just there, you know. Like in a the- like in a, a live performing arts theater, like in a musical. And and they're the folks doing this, it's for you. And they don't, they don't, you know, Ferris Bueller can talk to the video camera, but they, <laughs> they do that in older movies. But I don't know, Alfred Hitchcock and does it a little bit, you know, Twilight Zone, oh, it's Twilight Zone. Twilight Zone at least they did that kind of stuff. And it, I know, it had a very interesting effect. And boy, we do love uh, Twilight, Twilight Zone. They did that sometimes, but, but it's, oh man, Twilight Zone is just the best of the best, man. This, TV stuff too, TV series. This is this is also related to TV, by the way. This is a crossover TV. Okay, and a lot of people already know this stuff already. It's nothing new, but you know, in some respects, you might get something, some new things out of this, maybe. Whether or not you're more more or less familiar with the subject already, but I think most people are pretty familiar with this. Uh, so these new movies push you away. They're just old, tired cliches. All the remakes. The insult to our, your intelligence, how much you paid to get, get into the movies to see this, or how much you paid at Redbox, or how much you're paying in Netflix and stuff. New movies are not traditional, they're not respectful, they're not respectful of traditional values. I can't tell you how many times you see a movie where something 
oh, that's not just one thing. There's many, many things about the movie that are not at all in line with traditional values. It doesn't even matter if it's Christian or not. You pick the older... Look, it could be Buddhist, Hindu, Muslim, it, you know, Jewish. Um, it could be pagan from Africa or uh, Papua New Guinea. And of course Christian. It, you know, whatever else. Anything that's been around for a while, it tends to have these values as part of its belief system that no movies do not respect. So you can say, well, this, this is an interesting segue maybe to Bollywood. Right? But yeah. Gosh, if you watch a movie from India, it's going to have traditional values. So you say, maybe we should watch that stuff. Maybe. No, the acting might not be always as great. Maybe, you, you know, we'll have sub, the subtitles are kind of different. Maybe there's cultural things about India that we just don't fully understand. So maybe it might be a little weird, but heck, it's, it's more wholesome. I don't know. We don't have to talk about M. Night Shyamalan. Shyamalan is American, an Indian American. He's from India, came to America. We won't get that. <laughs> okay. But Shyamalan, we know what I'm talking about, right? We know precisely what I'm talking about. And so with Shyamalan's movies, you, you get that element of, oh, it's more, it's nicer, like some of this stuff, or it's respectful traditional values, you know. You can say other things about the quality of some of his movies, but hey, you know. Anyway, so... <laughs> New movies. <laughs> no variety. It's just no variety. Look, it could be action. Okay, actions. You, you think it's fantasy? No, it's action. <laughs> you see something that, that says sci-fi? No, it's action. It's nothing, nothing it's much scientific about it. Just a bunch of robots in space, and they're fighting each other. Or ships and stuff. Blasters. Cheap Star Wars knockoffs from Disney. Oh, it's com comedy? It's going to be off-color. Uh, it's romantic? No, it's just making fun of... It's just making... How do you make fun of... It's making fun of... It's going to make you feel like you're being made fun of. Uh, mocking the things that should be most, in my opinion, sacred about great, I mean, romantic relationships. You know, difficult, but, you know, I mean... You know, anyway, we won't get into that. And then, uh, horror. I don't know. Horror is basically action with monsters. And if it's psychological, or it's suspenseful, or it's thrilling, thriller. Um, some of it's passable, but it's essentially kind of horror-ish. Oh, no, it's essentially kind of action-ish. If it's a B-budget, and there's so many B-budget stuff, it's going to be a bunch of people yelling in a camera, shaky, shaky in some dark place. You have a bunch of teenagers running through... Or whatever, you know, some, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just going to be more of the same. No variety, no, there's, there's no variety. It, it's not relaxing. There's no atmosphere. You know, you go to some place where your mood changes or you, you pick up on things that are actually of real worth. Um, there are places like that, you know, that have, I would, I would call it atmosphere. It's, it's a similar thing with culture, cultures, maybe related to arts and also, of course, different countries and that sort of thing, all that kind of stuff and lifestyles. Atmosphere is similar to that, but atmosphere is like also connected with music and, you know, the interior design of buildings and or other places, landscape, design, whatever, but it's, it's, there's a, there's a feeling that comes from places that have atmosphere or from movies that have atmosphere. There's a feeling, a distinct feeling that comes. Older movies have it. New, new, new movies don't. Not really. There's no atmosphere a lot of times in high techy stuff. If there's too much chrome, just forget it. And there's no heart. The people that make these movies, uh, hey, it's the job. Talk about franchises. <laughs> when I hear, when you hear the word franchise, I prefer to think of things like fast food rather than movies because fast food is fast food. Movies should not be fast food. Movies should be different. They should be like this stuff. In fact, this stuff is like real food, 
nice restaurants and even moderately priced restaurants that serve good quality food. And even some cheaper ones that are still good quality food. This stuff is fast food. This stuff is not good for anyone to watch very much of because it's cheap and it's artificial and it's thrown together lightning fast and blending more of the execs here, the studios in Hollywood. So we keep returning to Europe, we keep turning to independent movies that are better. And that's all we can do, you know, uh, we deal with B-budget acting, but we get a better story sometimes. So um, this is kind of a rant, but not really. Um, this is nothing new. I'm sure that you've seen many, we've probably seen many other videos on YouTube about the same stuff. But, it, you know, I challenge anyone uh, to tell me otherwise about the difference between these two. Look at the, the many other people that have said the same stuff. Dustin Hoffman, Dustin Hoffman himself said, no, it's just, it's, this new stuff is not like it has been. It's different, you know. What's going on here? Am I talking about the Illuminati? Well, look, Illuminati in Hollywood and all that stuff, if there's an intentional dumbing down going on, then um, I would probably, I could definitely believe that. If you get a steady diet of this stuff, you're going to be a moron. If Especially if you're not doing any, much anything else in your life. And video games are similar. The old video games were better. Maybe not quite up to the standard one at a time. You know, there's some newer video, games, newer video games that are more like this, but the most newer video games, vast majority of them, like this. Vast majority of them. Uh... If you watch this stuff, it's just cotton candy for the brain. You watch this stuff, um, yes, that's going to be good for you. Um, and um, by the way, I felt this way ten years ago, even. It's it's it's, and you would hear the same things. You know, it's it, this is not just me talking. And I don't have any white hairs. I'm not an old man. So forget that whole train of thought all right now as it is. Not too long ago, I was in college doing my undergrad work. My 20s. It wasn't all that long ago. Um, it's still very fresh in my mind. I've dreamed that all the time. I'm not an old man. I still have a lot more in my life to do. So don't peg me in that ballpark. And don't, don't even ridicule older people for being old, stodgy, whatever guys. Because they like this stuff more than this stuff. No, 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 no. You shouldn't insult them that way as it is. You should respect elders. But also when people talk about good movies, you should pay attention because this stuff actually is going to be more interesting if you actually have the patience to watch it. And, you know, it's just going to be much better for you than this stuff. All right. I'm, I'm also... I'm, and this last little bit, this last little rant I had was aimed squarely at the teens and maybe some of the 20-somethings that just don't grow up, that haven't grown up yet, that watch this. But I realize that most of you guys watching this are probably not so much in that ballpark. So, I think I've said my piece here. Leave me thoughts and comments below. I'll catch you guys later.